Hey, we're still with Ken Rates. Welcome back. And we're still with Ken Rates of Think Data Insights. So in the last segment, we talked about smaller companies. Then as companies grow, they're going to need someone like you. Right. So what is your approach when you begin work? First of all, when are folks going to need someone like you? And right. what's your approach as you're working? Sure, with them? great question. So uh, usually the way we know when people need our help is uh, unfortunately when they are in a crunch, they are finding a pressure yeah. in their organization that they can't relieve. And it typically comes about when the complexity of what they're trying to do has, has gone beyond what they're capable of, right? right. So usually that means the systems that they started out with uh, are no longer working for them and they add new systems, technologies, new CRM or whatever that may be. Right. And they just, they cannot get the information they need out of it. Or they've added several systems and they don't know how to bring that information together uh, to make it mean something, right? It's, it's just right. complex to, to integrate that together. Well, bringing, bringing the data together mm -hmm. or normalizing it, mm -hmm. that that's not something you do yourself. You need someone who knows what they're doing right, to right. do that. Well, and, and I would say too, the important thing for that is is someone who knows how to help you build the right system to do that. Right. Because people do it all of the time, right? They right. spend time in Excel and they, they put data together. Yeah. How do you build a system that will do it so the business can rely upon it? Right. So that's how we start with an organization. We know they're, they're in trouble, they have challenges, and we, yeah. we provide a strategic assessment to look at all aspects of their business from what they're trying to do now, where they're going. We look at their mm -hmm. 12 to 18 month plan to identify how will data best serve their need and, and what are the systems and approaches they need to address that. And so right. we basically lay out a roadmap for our clients and, and help them achieve that, you know, basically through an iterative approach. We take yeah. a, a small chunk at a time and we say, here, we, we build that piece of it for them, we provide the, the development, the training, so that basically we can help them start to manage it going forward and, and achieve some value from that. It. So, that is exactly yeah. how it ought to be done, yeah, yeah. you know. And I really like that you go in and, um, you know, the capabilities of data these days are somewhat new. People mm -hmm. don't know what they can do. And I like that you go in and, and meet with people to understand where they're trying to go mm -hmm. with it. And, you know, another thing that I was just thinking about with, um, with another application is getting financials done. Mm -hmm. And I've known of quite a few situations yeah. where the the CFO needs the financials or needs mm -hmm. reporting. Mm -hmm. They don't get it in a timely manner. And somebody's, you know, sometimes somebody's almost full time right. trying to pull that stuff into um, Excel and making it work. And mm -hmm. it can be automated. Right. Actually, we are working with a company right now doing yeah. that very thing. And, and usually the challenge there is uh, companies have grown through acquisition. And right. so they have multiple locations. Maybe it's healthcare, multiple practices. And they each have different systems. And so it's really tough to bring the financial data together in, in a way that's con you know able to be consistently reported, right? right. So uh, yeah, so they have full-time people working on basically tying that together and presenting it, and and so we're doing just that. We're we're automating the integration of the financial data, the presentation of the financial mm -hmm. reporting, as well as the analysis. So the presentation is great, but today companies are really demanding and expecting a lot more out of the data. So it's the analysis and the capabilities that flow right. from that where companies can can make decisions, you know, more more strategically that uh, they couldn't have otherwise made before, right? Where the data itself does some of the right. uh, kind of insight driving rather than the kind of the human process, uh, right? Kind of like the three little pigs, <laughs> you know? You, you, the, what really is the smart thing to do is to yeah. build the house of brick, right. and even though that takes longer, mm -hmm. then um, that's what you have to do to build the infrastructure exactly. correctly yeah. Yeah. in order for them to be able to, to achieve what they want. Exactly, and, and most organizations yeah. are thinking progressively. They understand they need to do something with the data. So we've overcome yeah. that part, and now it is how do we do that in a way that's cost effective and we'll get the most mileage out of the right. data. So, okay. yeah. yeah. Um, are there any industries that you're specializing in? Sure. Um, Okay. Yeah, so I mentioned healthcare earlier. Right. So we work them. with a number of 
uh, generally small mid-sized privately owned physician practices so uh, right. the typical you know 10 20 30 physicians or more mm -hmm. uh, multiple location multi-specialty and and they you know they're challenged they're looking for understanding oh, yeah. compensation collections are a problem uh, in in the healthcare market uh, yes. margins are driving down you know pretty hard for for healthcare practices yeah. and so and then they have to align to all of the uh, Medicare, you know, and reporting requirements right. in and order to actually hit there. So we help that. them do that. Uh, and also yeah. the, the restaurant industry is one that we've really tapped into where, uh, again, multi-location, franchise ownership, right. uh, really looking to, th their margins run very, very thin in, and in restaurants. And so they have so, to keep that. Hey, mm -hmm. I'm sorry. We, yeah, it's okay. We, um, it's I probably shouldn't have asked another question, yeah. but so we'll pull to a close. Mm -hmm. And ladies and gentlemen, we're going to do something different with the next segment. Angie Grissom is going to be your host. She has a real passion around empowerment and she is gonna have a, have a treat for you. <laughs> Thanks so much, we'll be right back.